ever get that feeling like you're always on this treadmill, always chasing, always reaching for that next thing? Like, that's going to be the thing, that new gadget, that promotion, that's going to make you happy. Oh, absolutely. That grass is always greener trap. We're wired for it almost. Right. But what if, and stick with me here, what if real happiness, like deep down contentment, it wasn't about getting more at all? Interesting. Okay, I like where you're going with this. So today we're diving into this ancient wisdom, Taoism secret, and exploring Lao Tzu's philosophy on finding happiness. Not by chasing, but by appreciating what we've already got. Love Lao Tzu. It's a total perspective shift. See, most of us, we're bombarded with this idea that happiness is about accumulating, right? More money, bigger house, better stuff. Totally. Bigger, better, newer, faster. Exactly. But Lao Tzu, he challenges that whole narrative. He says, what if true contentment is actually about shifting our focus inward, about wanting less. And the book just dives right into this thought experiment. Imagine a world where happiness isn't about having more, but desiring less. Kind of a mind bender, right? It is. And it's at the core of knowing contentment. Lousy believed that always chasing desires, always striving, it keeps us in this perpetual state of unrest, never satisfied, never truly at peace. Always looking for something else. Exactly. But if we can learn to quiet those desires, to be content with what is, that's where we find peace in the present moment. So, okay, all that sounds great in theory, but how do we actually live that? How do we actually want less in a world obsessed with more? Such a good question, right? Mm. It all starts with being able to tell the difference between what we need and what we want. Needs versus wants. Yeah. We need things like food, shelter, connection, the basics. But a lot of our desires, they come from a place of not enough. Like if we just get that thing, then we'll be happy. Okay, that makes sense. But the reality is those feelings are fleeting. You get the new phone, the new car, and yeah, there's a rush, but... It fades so fast, like that example in the book about always needing the newest phone. That excitement wears off, but having a good laugh with a friend, that feeling sticks with you. Yes, 100%. It's about recognizing those simple joys that have nothing to do with material stuff. So what are some things that bring you joy? I mean, things that aren't tied to possessions, obviously. Oh man, so many things. Spending time in nature, losing myself in a good book, even just that first sip of coffee in the morning. It's the little things, you know? What about you? Totally. A good hike, a long phone call with my best friend. It's never about things when I really think about it. Right, and I think that's what Lousy was getting at. It's about finding that contentment now with what we already have. There's this line at the end of the excerpt that really got to me, it asks, what would your life look like if you focused more on enjoying what you have right now? So powerful. It really is. It's a reminder that we already have so much abundance in our lives. Maybe we just need to shift our focus to see it. Instead of always looking for what's next. Exactly. Lousy's philosophy is a good reminder that happiness, that deep contentment, it isn't found in some thing we acquire. It's about finding peace and appreciation for what's already here. So maybe, just maybe, simplifying our lives, simplifying what we think we need, that could be the key to finding true happiness. Maybe the less we chase, the more we find. Yeah. It's definitely something to think about.